Hello everybody, this is Volcanic Gaming and after probably a couple months of not posting any content, I am here with the Chicago Bears franchise episode number one. So, you know, a couple things happened like school starting and stuff like that, so I wasn't able to post any more MLB content and I was kind of just waiting until Madden came out to do so. And I wasn't able to get Madden super soon as I'm only posting content right now in October which is already like four or five weeks into the NFL season. I can't remember. But here's the rundown. We're going to be doing 10-minute quarters, playing on all Madden. So I'm going to lose a bunch of games because I haven't played Madden since like Madden 14 or something like that. Wait, I don't think there was a Madden 14. That's probably Madden 25. But I haven't played since then. So I am super rusty. And right here, we are trading two draft picks for Brett Hundley, which will hopefully be our quarterback for the future. And right here, we're going to have the Chicago Bears playing the Houston Texans okay this is a quick uh, thing that I recorded my first two games under the mp4 format and it completely corrupted my file when I try to put it into sunny Vegas so that's why I'm starting on week three instead of uh, week two and one I mean week one and two but this is the first game we got blown out by the Houston Texans at one point we were down 24 to 10 and it looked like we were coming back but that didn't pan out right and Right here, too, we got destroyed by the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Like I said, I'm not the best at this game. And in the first game, we had Brian Hoyer playing, but I didn't like the way he was playing, like his quarterback style. So I switched it up with Brent Hundley. I like a more mobile quarterback. But basically, we traded away Cutler earlier, as you saw, and we are about to get into the first game, which is week three. So hopping in with about five minutes left in the first quarter, second and two for the Dallas Cowboys. That is thrown out to Ezekiel Elliott. He will go in for the touchdown, and Dallas will take a 7-0 lead. With 43 seconds left in the first quarter, Brett Hundley will take the snap. He will dump it off to our backup running back, and that will not be enough for the first down, but we will be able to tack on a field goal. Here is the field goal as the snap is taken. Kick is up right through the middle of the goal post, but our kicker will be released in a couple weeks because he just can't have any power on his kicks. So Dallas will take the snap. Romo throws it. He chucks it up, and I don't know what happened. My guy just completely stopped. Like, when I switched to him, he doesn't keep running for some reason, which, like, it happens in previous Maddens. But in this one, once you switch to him, he stops, so you got to keep running, and I didn't know that. So we are down 14-3, but Brett Hundley trying to strike back as he rolls out and throws it to his tight end. As I said earlier, I like a more mobile quarterback because he can extend plays. I really don't want my quarterback running and stuff like that because that's how you get injured. As Brett Hundley on third down throws it to, I think that's Isaiah Crowell, our uh, running back. But that won't move the chains. But here's another third down. We find ourselves in a lot of third down um, situations because we're a run first team. I should probably start specifying that a little bit more. I wasn't able to say that when we were in the introduction, but this team's more of a run first, pass next team, but I always fall down by a lot of points, so it usually ends up being pass first than like not no running game at all, but we're trying to incorporate more of the running game, and right there, we stalled on that drive, but Tony Romo chucks it up again, and for the second time in this game, my uh, cornerback just stops and they will take a 21 to 3 lead. Dallas again in our territory. Second and two. Late in the second quarter. And that ball is thrown to Des Bryant. And he will take it to the house for a touchdown. We are down 28 to 3. This is just a horrific game. But Brent Hundley still not giving up. On fourth and ten. Throws it over the middle and we will move the chains. So we are left with another third down situation, third and long. He throws it to the outside, and that is caught by our number one receiver. I totally just forgot his name, but he has been dropping a lot of passes recently, so I'm really thinking about trading him, even though he's like a 90-something overall. But Brett Hundley rolls out. He will score a touchdown. Like I said earlier, I don't like my quarterback running, but he had a wide open spot, and we took it. So now it is a 28-10 to game. Brett Hundley hands that off to Crowell. Crowell will break a couple tackles, and he is going on the outside. He could go all the way, breaking number 54. He cannot catch him, and that is a touchdown. This game just got a little more interesting. It is 28-17 now. 
crucial third down and three. Tony Romo will take the snap. He will throw over to the middle, but that will be incomplete. So we will get the ball back with momentum. Crowell finding his step now as he has another good yardage gain. And right here, he just barely gets the first down. And wait, no, that wasn't the first down. That was uh, fourth and inches, but Brett Huntley will take a quarterback sneak. We like to go. I like to go for it a lot more on fourth down as yet another 10-yard gain by Crowell. He is just really finding his rhythm right now. And as you see, last week he only had 10 yards rushing, and this week he has over 100. But right here, throwing it to our tight end, he is probably our best receiver right now. He catches a lot of passes, and yeah. So we score a touchdown, and we are trying to go for the two-point conversion, making it a three-point game, but Crowell just can't push through that pile, and the game will remain 28-23. So our team trying to stop Tony Romo and the Dallas Cowboys, but he fakes the handoff to Ezekiel Elliott, throws it deep, and that is a crucial play as a pass interference penalty put him deep in our territory as the Dallas Cowboys will have great field position in our territory. And he's just shaking his head like, what? I didn't push him, even though he clearly pushed him. But over the middle, Tony Romo finds his man again. And that's basically all the Dallas Cowboys really needed as we didn't score any more points out of this. But later on in the game with about two minutes left, the Cowboys tack on a field goal. And as you see, a lot of things happened and they are up 43-23. to 23. Here's the final play of the game as Tony Romo kneels. We will end up losing this game 43-23. We were right there at the beginning of the fourth quarter, but most of the games that I play have that trend. And usually we just try to rush a little bit too much and they end up scoring a bunch more points but that is a loss for us but we are hopping right into this game against the Detroit Lions both teams are 0-4s um not even 4 they're, both teams are 0-3 so one team will come out as a victor and Matthew Stafford finds his man over the middle right there but on this play misses his receiver and that will be picked off that's only like our fourth pick of the season but that's going to be picked off and Nothing came of that drive, but here are the Lions on third and two, pitching it out to the outside, and they will take a seven to nothing lead. But here we are on fourth and two, Crowell trying to keep this drive alive, but he gets stuffed behind the line, and that will be a turnover on downs. And Matthew Stafford taking the snap on third and eleven, trying to keep him at bay, but that ball is captured over the middle what was that guy doing he just ran into his own man but that will be a touchdown for the Lions they will take a 14 to nothing lead here we have third and nine for the Chicago Bears Hunley takes a snap trying to keep this drive alive but our tight end makes a catch and he sheds a tackle he is going down the middle of the field and that will be a touchdown the game is now 14 to 7 and that I think was a 73 yard reception so good play and we are inching closer Matthew Stafford on third and 14 trying to stall this drive, but he will find his man over the middle. That is um, one of many third down conversions that we have seen in this game. We need to learn how to hold teams on third down, but that's another drop by what is supposed to be our best receiver. He has so many like drops when it's in traffic, and I think his catch in traffic is like, close to 99. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but Crowell will take the snap, and he will go the opposite way of where the line is going, but that will be a positive gain as he takes this all the way down to the two-minute warning. Fourth and inches, Hundley taking the snap and doing a quarterback sneak. That will get us first and goal as we take a timeout. So 13 seconds left in the game. That is a fullback dive, and he will score, making this game 14-14 at the half. Second half action now. Matt Stafford takes a snap on third down. Can we hold him this time? He has all day to throw the ball. He probably just like read a book and stuff like that before he threw that ball. But he throws it to the sideline, and that is caught by his receiver. I think that's Golden Tate. 58-yard reception, and the Lions will take a seven-point lead. Another look at that touchdown. Our cornerback was right with the receiver, but... He made the dumb mistake of going in instead of following the receiver, and that will be a touchdown. But Crowell will take the snap on fourth and one. That is a crucial play, and 
on third and 11. Hundley trying to keep this drive going, but that is picked off by the Detroit Lions. And that's kind of what ruined the rest of our game. Um, we didn't really have an answer after that. I think it kind of just like brought down our momentum. But Stafford here throws it over the middle, and that is a fumble. But after further review, it ends up not being a fumble. But I'm not sure why they um, they counted it as first and 10. It's kind of weird. It's happened twice to me now. Like, they catch the ball, and then they drop it instead of calling it a completion. But, oh, uh, that's a touchdown over the middle. Just, uh, just letting you know. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, they drop it, but they ended up counting it as a first down. So, it's kind of weird. But here it is, 28 to 14. Lions had the ball again. Another handoff to their running back, and they will score. He will score his, I think, third or fourth touchdown of the game. Oh, that's the third rushing touchdown. I just showed it right there. But this will be his fourth one. And like I said, we were tied 14 to 14 going into this fourth quarter, but we just blew the lead again, and that will be the end of the game. Final thoughts on these last two games. Uh, I think we played pretty well through three quarters in both of these games, but. I think the last quarter kind of was just a collapse, but screen is black, and this is just about the end of the video. This is Volcanic Gaming, and I will be signing out.